Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Fseed. So in this uh, short video, I will say a few words about the latest feature added to Django Software Dashboard, which is a popular open source uh, seed project provided by, by Fseed. Now the product supports uh, dynamic data, data tables. It's a feature requested by, by many of our users and also um, in Discord and requested by, by our community. Basically, once you have a, a model definition in your app, this model helps you to automatically build uh, a data table on top of that model with uh, paginated information, with uh, server-side pagination, uh, search and export in different formats. Let's take a look at the, at the product and uh, visualize the, the, this uh, useful feature. So I will clone the repository. Once the source code is uh, available on your local file system, you just need to uh, navigate into the root directory of the product and uh, start application using uh, using Docker. Of course, you can manually build the product, but I will use the the Docker setup in this demonstration just to reuse the automatized setup shipped with the product. Now the Docker will uh, execute all the step for us, like uh, migrate the database, install all the modules, and uh, will uh, expose the app in the browser in in less than two minutes. Okay, the setup is finished. I will access the application in the browser. Okay, let's create user okay the user is successfully created and now we're in so basically the dynamic data table is is available here for now uh, the application is shipped with the box model, which is super super simple. Uh, in this uh, in this uh, interface, you can create box. Let's say Harry Potter. Okay, you can edit the the row, and also you can delete the 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 item. Um, what is super important to know is that uh, this um, UI is automatically generated by scanning the metadata of the of the model. So if you declare or define a new model in the application, this uh, UI is automatically built. So you don't need to, to build all the rows and stuff. The application exposes here in the URL. So the, the root is the data table and this is the name of the model, which is registered in the configuration. Uh, in in, a, in our next uh, video presentation, I will s demonstrate how to update the the model, how to add new fields. In case you add a new field here, let's say title or info, the um, the UI is automatically updated by the by the module. Other uh, other things shipped in the previous uh, in the previous release is the uh, API generator, which is uh, built on top of uh, DRF, and it is basically the the same thing. So we have here the DRF interface, which is uh, generated by the using the application CLI. So we have here the the row. Let's uh, create another another row. I don't know another grade book. Book one thousand add okay so the book was uh, the new book was added and if we refresh the drf interface the new book is here of course the deletion also works okay other options are to uh, um, 
export the, all the information using uh, PDF, XLS or other formats. So guys, thanks for watching. The application is under heavy development and is scheduled for uh, uh, to be updated with Stripey payments and also um, uh, asynchronous tasks. Let us know what you think. Uh, the product is uh, released under the MIT license on, uh, on GitHub. Feel free to use it in your product, in your project. In case you have issues, uh, don't hesitate to chat with us. Uh, using the email or uh, connect with uh, connect with us on Discord. We have uh, more than 1,000 uh, members on Discord, so the community is super super nice. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Adrian here from Mapsit. I wish you all, as always, a super super day. Bye, guys.